In this report, I share the best places to retire early in paradise for pennies in 2024. So why should you listen to me? My name is Dan, and I've lived in and visited 68 countries in my life. I left the United States 17 years ago at the age of 46 and began my search to find the best place in the world to retire early in paradise for pennies. To make my list of the best paradise for pennies places, a single thrifty person may be able to live on as little as $1,200 per month, some for much less if they are good at budgeting. But you won't know your personal cost of living until you have your feet on the ground in each of these places. I've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars of my own money to put my feet on the ground in every single one of these paradise locations I will share with you in this video. Of the hundreds of places I have visited worldwide personally, I'm picking only the best 15 places to share with you in this video. Why does it matter whether or not I have seen all of these places with my own eyes? The truth is, many of the other people sharing paradise for pennies overseas have not personally even visited all of the places they're sharing with you. That is what is different about me. Research gathered over the internet from 10,000 miles away is not as valuable. The other guys often just purchase the video they share online, or worse, they share images and information created by AI. My girlfriend Chung and I created the videos I share while our feet were on the ground in each place. This is my 1,000th YouTube video teaching you how to live overseas. Here are my best places to retire early in paradise for pennies in 2024. But you don't have to take notes. I'll provide you with a link to all of this in writing at the end. But remember, these are just summaries I'm about to share with you. My full written report for each is at vagabondbuddha.com. Now I will share my top 15 places in reverse order so the suspense builds while you wait to hear the top three places in the world. Okay, Antigua, Guatemala, Retire Cheap Report, 15th. Antigua, Guatemala is the most well-preserved colonial era city in all of Central America. With 500 years of history, art, and architecture, along with an amazing array of foods from around the world to, to delight your senses, Antigua is one of the best places in the world for the integration of colonial culture, indigenous culture, and international visitors. Antigua is a place that many experienced world travelers call home after they've seen much of the world. Because of Antigua's elevation, it remains relatively cool throughout the year. There are also many hiking trails around the city, including an active volcano that erupts almost every night. You can take a tour there and watch the volcano light up the skies at night. If you are more of a mountain lake lover, check out our Lake Atitlan, Guatemala, Retired Cheap Report. This beautiful lake, a mile high in the sky, is surrounded by seven villages of varying character that would provide a home for people of many different kinds of interests, including a hippie, spiritual, natural, healing artist village, an expat party animal village, several indigenous cultural villages, and a large expat community village. Okay, coming in at 14th, Bangkok, Thailand, Retired Cheap Report. Bangkok is one of the best cities in the world, even before you adjust for its low cost of living. The food choices are unmatched with the integration of East and West cuisines. It has one of the most modern and clean transportation systems in the world, so you'll not have to waste your money on a car. The grab taxis are so cheap, you can get your groceries home for just a little more than public transportation. Riding the water taxis from Kosan Road to the King Taksin Bridge while stopping at all of the temples, the flower market, and the King's Palace is probably the most interesting cultural experience you'll find anywhere in the world. Thus, even before we talk about the crazy nightlife and shopping in Bangkok, it is one of the most interesting places in the world. 
Plus, you are just a $50 flight to the best island beaches in Southeast Asia. But if you prefer a smaller mountain town that hosts the digital nomad capital of the world, check out our Chiang Mai Thailand Retired Cheap Report. Bangkok has dropped a few notches in 2024 because Thailand has started taxing money brought into the country by foreign retirees. Okay, coming in at 13th, Boracay, Philippines, Retired Cheap Report. Boracay Island is one of the most gorgeous white sand beach islands in the world. Boracay stands above the other white sand beach locations in the Philippines because it has a huge selection of excellent international restaurants within walking distance of anywhere on the island. Other white sand beaches in the Philippines like El Nido, Siquijor, or Puerto Galera are more typically in remote locations, which means your international restaurant choices will be much more limited. Boracay is also has a large selection of nightlife entertainment choices, all within walking distance. So we would walk everywhere mostly and jump on tricycle taxis if we were in a hurry or to bring groceries home. We might even purchase bicycles, but we would not need a car or scooter. There are only three downsides to Boracay, or it would easily make it into our top five destinations in the world. First, we might get island fever eventually, since it's a fairly small island focused primarily on tourism. Second, we would need to travel to larger cities like Cebu or Iloilo for health care. And third, the cost of living in Boracay is about 30 to 50 percent higher than many other parts of the Philippines, which we cover in detail in the full report. Okay, next up, number 12, Puerto Morelos, Mexico, Retired Cheap Report. I've always been a fan of Quintana Roo, Mexico, or the Riviera Maya, as it's often called, where Puerto Morelos is located. Normally, I like larger cities with more things to do and with more cultural choices, so I'm not completely sure why I have such a great gut feeling about Puerto Morales. I think it has to do with two major concepts that touch me deeply. There is a colonia area just a few kilometers from the white sand beaches that is at the edge of thousands of acres of untouched jungle. So a few times per week, monkeys would be playing in the trees outside our windows. On other days, gorgeous birds would land in the trees outside our apartment and sing to us. Plus, Riviera Maya is normally a very loud and crazy place, but the Colonia area of Puerto Morelos was one of the quietest places I've ever stayed in Mexico. Plus, there are a bunch of delicious and cheap family-owned restaurants on the Colonia side instead of the overpriced restaurants on the white sand tourist beach areas. But Whenever the white sand beach called us, we were just a 30 peso or $1.50 taxi ride to the most beautiful beach in the world. This combination of nature, beautiful animals, and their serene environment, and crazy gorgeous white sand beach heaven really made me love this place. Puerto Morales has dropped a couple of spots in 2024 because the sargassum seaweed on the beaches seems to be increasing and the Mexican peso exchange is up about 15% over the U.S. dollar over the last year or so. Okay, coming in in 11th, Penang, Malaysia, Retire Cheap Report. Hours will feel like minutes as you stroll around the Georgetown colonial area and spot colorful street art around every corner. The number one attraction here is finding the best mama's meal in town for two to three dollars. Once you taste the amazing local foods, you'll have a hard time convincing yourself to pay eight to ten dollars in tourist restaurants. As a former British colony, people still are required to speak English in many of the schools here. There are art galleries listed, things to do, music and nightlife, and arts and entertainment. The Canteen in China House restaurant is still listed as the premier live music forum. Make sure to take our Beach and Buddha tour, the street art tour, our Old Town walking tour, our nightlife tour, and try our favorite restaurants. Most of our Retired Cheap in Paradise reports includes these types of tours. Okay, it's time for number 10. Moving towards number one, Oaxaca, Mexico, Retired Cheap Report. 
Oaxaca State has a large indigenous population with 50% of the population with dif different indigenous cultures speaking different local languages. Oaxaca City hosts the largest, most famous indigenous festival in the world held annually to celebrate their native culture of music, costume, dance, and food. Some of the most well-preserved ancient ruins in Mexico are nearby in Monte Alban and Mitla. Oaxaca is at a perfect elevation, so it's not too warm in the summer or too cold in the winter. The indigenous people suffered great hardship under the Aztecs and then again when the Spanish showed up in 1521. The colonial era center of the city is one of the most beautiful and well-preserved of anywhere in the world. The Central Park, or Zocalo, is a joy to experience night and day with music, dance, and beautiful food, and restaurants and food carts. Okay, coming in at number nine, Baguio City in the Philippines, retired chief report. One of the first things you'll notice about Baguio is that it is never too hot or too cold there. It's a mile high in the sky, so it has moderate highland temperatures. The next thing you'll notice is the green and beautiful central area of Baguio. The sidewalks are well maintained and there are plants growing everywhere which are main maintained by the Baguio city year round. There is a very large central park full of manicured grass and picnic tables with a large lake full of paddle boats so you can enjoy with your family and friends. It also is one of the most creative cities in the Philippines with college students dressing up in Japanese anime costumes, walking around and drawing chalk characters on Session Road when it is closed to automobiles on Sundays. Because this is a college town, there seems to be a never-ending set of things to do and events to attend that often include cheap street food and fun arts and music. Plus, Baguio is one of the most walkable cities, so if you decided to live close in, you would not need a car. Okay, coming in at number eight, Dumaguete in the Philippines, retired cheap report. Dumaguete is a quaint little city that you may not expect to find in, in, in near the top to retire early for cheap. But the city has everything you need in terms of public market, restaurants, and grocery stores with many international foods. Plus there's a central city area where you would could live and walk everywhere. But I would prefer to live up the hill about eight kilometers in a small, smaller city called Valencia. There are hot springs, waterfalls, and public markets, but you'll need a scooter to get around or a small car. The real fun starts when you hop on a ferry to one of the beautiful islands nearby like Apo or Sikihor. If you are a diver or love snorkeling, consider living in the suburbs of Dumaguete called Dawin. Dawin has an enviable marine sanctuary that you can swim to every day from the public beach. The Dumaguete City Center has just enough people and businesses to make everyday life a little easier and more diverse feeling uh, without being overwhelmed. Plus, it is a university town which has influenced the dynamic nature of the city and has one of the best hospitals and medical schools in the islands, especially for a smaller town. Okay, coming in at number seven, seventh, Carretero, Mexico, retire cheap report. Carretero is now one of my favorite places in Mexico for a retirement destination. It's moved up this year because it has a more modern economy that has withstood the economic hardship over the last year better than many other favorite places in Mexico. For a one or two week vacation, I would still pick a beach in Mexico, but for everyday life in cooler colonial area Mexico, I would put Carretero. Carretero has one of the highest per capita incomes in Mexico because it is the Silicon Valley of Mexico. There are many great restaurants in town because of the higher incomes, but also many foreigners that live in Carretero because of the large international business community helps support the diversity of different kinds of restaurants. But I would live in the colonial area center of Carretero where there is a large selection of foods, both expensive foreign and inexpensive local family restaurants. There's also a large selection of nightlife venues with live music, many coffee shops, museums, and arts and crafts. My favorite spots in Mexico have moved down a couple of notches in 2024 because the value of the Mexican peso has risen about 15% in the last year or so versus the U.S. dollar.
Number six, Kuala Lumpur is a large modern city with all the conveniences that implies. It has several of the most beautiful and modern malls, hotels, resorts, and public transportation in Southeast Asia. All the famous movies from all over the world play in multiple languages, and all of the most famous expensive brands in the world have stores in the malls. If Singapore and Bangkok had a baby, they would call it Kuala Lumpur. It's not as gritty as Bangkok, nor as boring, expensive, or antiseptic as Singapore. It's not for everyone, but if you like a large, organized, clean, and safe city, you'll love it here in Kuala Lumpur. I have moved Kuala Lumpur and Penang down a couple of spots in 2024 because they can't seem to articulate what they're doing with their retirement visas recently. Top five best places to retire early in paradise for pennies in 2024. Porto, Portugal, retire cheap report coming in at number five. Porto, Portugal has a beautiful landscape and a romantic yet safe feeling to it. It's like living in a storybook. The central area of Porto is highly walkable. Porto has gorgeous ancient architecture. It's like walking through a living museum with single lane cobblestone pre-vehicle streets. There are beaches, wine tours, a symphony, many food choices, hiking, biking, great day trips, weekend getaways, sports stadiums, sailing, water sports, cruising, parks, nature. Porto has an old world charm that you usually only find in more expensive cities. Plus it has the Lytle grocery store change, which sells amazing gourmet foods for really cheap. Porto is the best cheap base to explore Western Europe. It is a little cooler than I normally like, but it reminds me of San Francisco, California, weather near where I grew up, and I love that place too. You may need to take the Porto Metro underground a little outside the city center to find cheaper rents to meet uh, you know, lower cost of living, but isn't it nice that you won't need to buy a car? Consider reviewing our Coimbra Portugal Retired Tree Report if you would like to prefer to live in a smaller, less congested college town in Portugal, or Sintra Portugal Retired Tree Report if you'd like to live in a small Portuguese mountain town enchanted with famous castles. Okay, coming in at number four, Na Trang, Vietnam, Retired Cheap Report. Na Trang is the most cosmopolitan city in Vietnam if you consider international food choices, clean parks and beaches, neighborhoods that still feel like Vietnam despite international tourism, and less visible pollution in the air. It is a city on the ocean. It doesn't have the breadth of historical cultural you will see in Hanoi or Hoi, but it makes up for that with modern cultural amenities that cultural explorers expect. You'll read that some people do not like Nha Trang because it has a large tourist industry near the beach, but I wouldn't live in the tourist areas if I moved there. I would live in a beautiful neighborhood that I showcase in my retired cheap report. What surprised me the most about Nha Trang was how cheap it was to live there once you get to know where the locals shop and eat. If you love life in Vietnam but would like to uh, be surrounded by more English-speaking Western expats, try our Da Nang Vietnam Retired Cheap Report. Or check out our Da Lot Vietnam Retired Cheap Report if you would prefer a hill station with cooler year-round weather. We just completed 90 days in Vietnam on the new e-visa. Vietnam currently has no retirement visa, but the expats we met that have lived in Vietnam long term were excited about it because it seems like the Vietnam government so far is allowing them to do back-to-back 90-day -back visa runs, which means they may only need to do four visa runs per year now. There are other visas available, but that seemed to be the, one of the most common ones people talked about there. Okay, coming in number third, Koh Samui, Thailand, retired cheap report. You may have had the impression that the island of Koh Samui was only a playground for the rich and famous looking for expensive white sand island beach vacations. But our latest visit to Koh Samui, we found perfectly respectable places to stay in safe neighborhoods where locals live for relatively cheap rates. We also found local markets and local family-owned restaurants with absolutely delicious food that would not break the bank. So we now understand that we could live on an amazing everyday life in Koh Samui. 
we would live, eat, and shop more like the locals. So now we could just pack a lunch, jump on our scooter to visit the most beautiful white sand beaches in the world whenever the mood strikes without paying tourist prices. So after 17 years of coming to Thailand, I now know that I could stay on a budget in one of the most beautiful and exclusive places in the world. That makes Koh Samui our first choice to retire cheap in Thailand. If you're looking for more of a hippie island vibe in Thailand, just a 30-minute ferry ride away, check out Kofengen Highland Retired Cheap Report. Koh Samui has dropped a few notches in 2024 because Thailand has started taxing money brought into the country by foreign retirees. Okay, number two in the world, Da Nang, Vietnam, Retired Cheap Report. Vietnam is now clearly near the top of my countries to retire cheap in paradise for pennies. Da Nang in particular has, and specifically the o Thong neighborhood, ranks very high in Vietnam. Chung Hoi and I both fell in love with a little community called O Thong, about 15 minutes south of central Da Nang on the beach. I would love to live here. Everything you need, like restaurants, expensive and cheap foreign and domestic foods, wet markets, and a gorgeous be beach would be extremely walkable. If, if you eat all three meals per day in restaurants like we have, you can easily stay under $5 per day per person if you eat the local foods. The apartment we found in our favorite neighborhood was $260 US dollars plus utilities. Utilities, water, and electricity were 33 per month, and the internet was included in the rent was 30 megabits per second up and down. The beautiful Mayan Beach was just three blocks away, and all of our favorite restaurants were walkable from our house. We didn't even need a scooter. There was even a great gym just a few blocks from our house for $20 a month, no contract. If you love life in Vietnam, but would like a higher energy place for singles, try Nha Trong Vietnam Retired Cheap Report, or check out our Delot Vietnam Retired Cheap Report if you prefer a hill station with cooler year-round weather. Okay, it's time for the number one place in the world to retire early in paradise for pennies in 2024. Ubud, Bali, Indonesia Retired Cheap Report. Ubud is a beautiful traditional village in the mountains of Bali where many people love to stay and eat in many of the healthy international food restaurants. This is one of the most famous tourist destinations in the world. It was, of course, beautiful. The landscape, the beaches, people, the joys of this relatively small island are spread out everywhere. So you'll need to have a vehicle or rent a scooter like most people. Make sure to ride your scooter to Utwala on the southern tip of Bali to see the fishermen boats, the local fish market, and children dressed in their school uniforms. Also take the ferry over to Lembonga for a weekend and visit the famous cliff beaches and the umbrella graveyards. Finally, bring your camera with you when you visit the terrace rice fields when they are in full green before harvest. And most importantly, eat at all the local food restaurants around Ubud, Bali that are on our Retired Cheap Report. You won't believe the value for your money. And check out the cottage we stayed in on, in our uh, Retired Cheap in Bali video. Please subscribe to Vagabond YouTube channel so you will see when I post my best white sand beaches in the world, my best towns for cultural explorers, and my best small towns in the world. Okay, thanks for considering my best places to retire early in paradise for pennies in 2024. Make sure to grab a copy of my free ebook, How I Fired My Boss and Traveled the World for 17 Years. And don't forget to visit vagabondbuddha.com at the memberships tab to learn about all the mistakes you can avoid by watching our Retire Overseas course. This is Dan of Vagabond Awake, the YouTube channel for VagabondBuddha.com. The world is your home. What time will you be home for dinner?